same time, what I've done is I've gone in to Text Wrangler and I've made the web page already. So I'm just going to go back into Text Wrangler and explain what I did. <clears throat> now, remember, every web page must begin with HTML. So I've got an HTML on tag at the beginning of the page and an HTML off tag at the end. So my web browser will know my web page begins at the top and ends at the bottom. In other words, it won't think it's some other kind of a file. Every web page has two sections, the head or header and the body. I've gone ahead and put in a title into the header. No need to explain that, you've already seen it. Then I created the body. I took all of the text and I framed it between a body on and the body off tag. Note also that I've indented all of the lines. So it shows what it's a part of. The next thing I did was frame each amendment title within an H1 on and H1 off tag. And I did that from Amendment 1 all the way through Amendment 10. Then I took the text of each amendment and framed it between a paragraph on and a paragraph off tag. If you remember our text document, our text just basically was on one line. And so I went ahead and put breaks in so that we could read the entire paragraph in text editor without panning back and forth. I did that for each of the ten amendments. Then I came down and I said what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a little white space between each amendment. And so I used the break tag to cause a, cause a line break or a line feed. And that tag is BR. Now it's an empty tag so we have to end it with a foreign slash. So it's BR space forward slash. So that gives me a little white space between my paragraph and the next heading. I then wanted to draw a horizontal rule across the page as a separator from one amendment to the next. The tag for that is HR, horizontal rule. And it's an empty tag, so we have to end it with a space forward slash. I then put in another break for a little bit more white space. Now, what I did was I actually only typed those three lines once. I used our friend copy and paste within my document to take it and place it after every amendment. Here it is after amendment two. And again after Amendment 3 and before Amendment 4. I went all the way through the amendments and end, put the last one after Amendment 9. So, what does our page look like so far? Well, I saved it out, and here it is. Go ahead and try this on your computer. And I'll talk to you again real soon.